Welcome to the Carnival Vista and welcome to Galveston. Galveston is such a cool port to board a ship. Everybody loves the downtown area. I'm gonna go ahead and start the tour on deck 10 is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick preview. Right here is the Carnival Seaside Theater, the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, the Red Frog Rum Bar, and Guy's Burger Joint. Right past that is the Lido Marketplace. All the way out the back of the ship is the Seafood Shack, the Pizzeria, and the Tides Bar, and the Tides Pool. Let's head on back to the Seaside Theater. This is the middle of the ship. We're gonna take a look at the Beach Pool. If you look at the Beach Pool, you'll notice that there are two cabanas on either side. It's really cool. It's a nice spot to relax and have a drink. There are four venues here in the Seaside Theater. There are a couple of dining venues and a couple of bars. You'll also notice that huge screen which plays movie under the stars, concerts, and special events. When they offer movies under the stars, you can head on over to the Red Frog Rum Bar and grab some complimentary popcorn. Another thing I like about the Red Frog Rum Bar is that it's right here on the pool deck and they have really nice stools and places to relax. Also, check this out. They make their own beer, so make sure you try one of those. Right across from the Red Frog Rum Bar is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. You can enjoy many different types of tequilas, frozen drinks, and a Mexican cerveza. Right over here, you're also gonna find, remember, a couple of dining venues. This is Guy's Burger Joint. Cruisers love Guy's. You can enjoy fresh hamburgers either their way or you can order it your own way. Right across from that is the Blue Iguana Cantina. Here you can enjoy fresh tacos, burritos, a taco salad or tortillas. Head on over to the salsa bar and get one of their specialty hot sauces. Let's head on over to the back of the ship and take a look at the tides pool. I really like this area and so do a lot of other cruisers. It's a fun spot to hang out in when you're leaving port or just to get some sun on a sea day. Here in the pool area, you're gonna find a couple of hot tubs. They're on either side of the pool. You're also gonna find a bar and a couple of other dining venues. So right here in the middle of the pool is the Tides Bar. Over here in the corner is Pizza del Capitano. Pizza del Capitano is open until late. So it is one of the spots that a lot of cruisers like to come to after a good night of drinking. Over here is the Seafood Shack where you can order many different types of fish, lobster, crab, all a la carte. This is the Lido Marketplace. This is the buffet area for the Carnival Vista. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's 100% complimentary. Keep in mind, folks, that the Carnival Vista is part of the Vista class. And if you wanna book any ship in that class or any other Carnival ship, here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to give me a call. And there's a good reason why. You see, is what we do is amazing. We offer you everything that Carnival offers you, all their promotions. But in addition, check this out we give you an exclusive agency discount. That's right. So when you call in to us and you book with us, it's always gonna be cheaper than going directly with the cruise line. Our clients love it when they call in because everyone loves to save money, especially when you're going on vacation. Keep in mind that these are unpublished rates. To get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer, you must give us a call. These rates are not posted on our website. This is Gigi Asian Kitchen. Here you can enjoy authentic Asian cuisine. During lunch, come on in and enjoy complimentary stir fry and other favorites. During dinner, it does turn into specialty. Over here is Cucino del Capitano. This is the Italian restaurant. This is also a specialty restaurant at dinner. However, during lunch, it is complimentary. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place a link down below the description of the video for you so you can see what is complimentary and what is specialty dining and the pricing. Let's head on all the way up to the front of the ship and take a look at the Serenity area and go all the way to the back of the ship. Right here is the Serenity area. This is the Carnival Waterworks. Right past that is the Beach Pool, the Seaside Theater. Over here is the Sports Square. 
More toward the back here is the basketball court. And then all the way to the back is the tides pool that we toured before. So let's head on back to the front of the ship and take a look at the Serenity Adult Retreat. It's one of my favorite spots and adults love it. It's a perfect spot to come and just get away. There are perfect views here at the front of the ship. There are nice little cabanas that couples can cozy up and enjoy. Over here is a nice bar with stools where you can sit down and have a cool drink and you can grab one of the comfortable chairs with an umbrella. There's a couple of whirlpools and it's really nice just to sit in the whirlpool, relax and enjoy the views when you're leaving port. Really like it a lot. Over here is the Carnival Waterworks area. This is the kids' splash area. It's full of splash cannons, toys, slides. There are two humongous slides and there are smaller slides for toddlers. There is that huge bucket that dumps thousands of gallons on kids all day long. They love it. Even adults love to come into the splash area and enjoy. There are a couple of big slides up here. One you're gonna go on with a tube and the other one you just go down full body. The waterworks area is mainly for kids, but I see adults enjoying it more than they do sometimes. We're gonna head on over to the sports square. It's right here midship. First thing we're gonna take a look at is the ropes course. The ropes course goes all the way around the square. It's pretty high, but don't worry, they're gonna strap you in. The sky ride is also really high. Take a look at this. You're gonna bicycle all the way around the back of the ship. It's a lot of fun, but I have to admit, it is a little scary, especially when you're at sea and the wind is blowing. Here in this square, you're gonna find many different types of activities. There is pool, foosball, mini golf. It's a fun area to hang out in. They also will offer a beanbag toss or other activities during the cruise. You can come in here to the clubhouse. It's air conditioned. You can play soccer, pool ball. You can also bowl. There's also other types of games that you can play. It's a really cool area for kids and they enjoy it a lot. Over here is the basketball court. It's a full court and they also offer other activities here such as dodgeball and soccer. Right behind the basketball court is the outside gym. This is a perfect area where you can exercise and enjoy views here from the top of the ship. Let's head on down to the lower decks. We're gonna go to deck five. I'm gonna give you a quick preview. This is the theater. Right out here is the atrium and cherry on top. Through here is the piano bar and the library bar. After that is Bonsai Sushi and the Alchemy Bar, then Pixels, then the Red Frog Rum Pub, Java Blue, Ocean Plaza, and all the way to the back here is the Havana Bar, and then behind that is the Havana Pool area. Check it out, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the front of the ship on deck five and take a tour. Over here is where you're gonna find all the shops. So if you need a little knickknack, like some suntan lotion or like some candy, head on over here. Over in this area, we're also gonna find the piano bar. The piano bar is a blast. The piano player will sing all those songs that people love to sing along with, like Billy Joel and Elton John. Many guests like to sit around the piano table here and give requests and the piano player will play whatever you like and it just gets the party going and going and going. Right across the hall from the piano bar is the library bar. If you'd like a more quiet place to sit back and relax, enjoy a drink, this is a perfect spot. Some families like to come in and play card games or board games. And then right down the way from the library bar is Fahrenheit Steakhouse. This is where you can enjoy a premium steak. This is part of the specialty dining and it is recommended that if you wanna dine here that you make reservations ahead of time. It fills up. And keep in mind that I have all the pricing to all the specialty dining in the link I've placed below the description of the video. Across the hall is Banzai Sushi. The sushi here is a la carte. You can sit here at the sushi bar or grab a table. I like to sit up at the sushi bar because it is fun to watch the masters perform their artwork. Another nice place to sit is on the lanai. The lanai goes all the way around the ship. It's a deck that you can take a nice stroll on. 
You'll also find Pig and Anchor out here. This is the barbecue joint. It's open on the first day of the cruise and on sea days. So make sure you're aware of that. There are plenty of places to sit and relax out here on the Lanai. It's a really cool spot. Let's head on back inside. Right across from Bonsai Sushi is the Alchemy Bar. I love this bar. It's right here in the center. It has this really cool counter that goes all the way around the outside of the bar. The mixologists are gonna make your drink to perfection. If you have a drink package, it's the perfect spot because you can just go through the menu and pick your drink. This is Pixels. This is where you're gonna find the photos that the photographers took of you while you were on board. Just put in your cabin number and all the photos are gonna show up and they are available for purchase. This is the Red Frog Rum Pub. They make their own beer. It is really cool. I like this pub. It's a relaxing spot. Come over here, grab one of the booths. There's live music at night. I really like the bar over here. I appreciate how they set up the stools because it's really cool to sit down here with friends, relax, and have a beer. If you want to sit over at the table, they have automatic beer dispensers. So just fill up your cup whenever you're ready. And back here is the game section. So grab a beer and come on over and play some foosball. The Red Frog Rum Pub also has an outside seating area here on the Lanai. So you could also grab your beer, come on out here, relax, enjoy the views. It's a really cool spot. And then next to that is Java Blue. This is the specialty coffee bar. You can also grab a tea, a treat, or a nice chocolate shake. This is Ocean Plaza. Here you'll enjoy many different types of activities and live music. Many different bands here play throughout the cruise. Across the way from the stage here is the Plaza Bar. I like to grab a drink here and sit over here at one of the stools while I enjoy the live music. And it's a lot of fun because people come up and dance on the dance floor over there. Let's head all the way to the back of the ship. This right here is the Havana Bar. It is a huge favorite among cruise. Throughout the cruise, you'll see people playing dominoes here. There will be late night dancing and live Latin music. Let's head on over to the bar. Take a look at this bar. I really like it. And you can get many different types of Cuban style drinks. And you can even get a Cuban coffee. I like the mojito. Let's take a look at the Havana pool area. This is all the way at the back of the ship. There is a nice bar where you can sit back and relax and enjoy a drink out here in the sun. There are a couple of hot tubs and there is a pool right in the center. There are a couple of cabanas here at the pool. So a lot of people like to sit around, enjoy a drink while they enjoy each other's company. It's really cool because it's all the way here at the back of the ship. So you can enjoy the views here at the back. It's a fun area just to hang out in and relax. This area is exclusive to guests who have booked in Havana Suites. The Havana Suites are really cool. You have your own little private area and comfortable chairs to relax in. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of deck four. This is the liquid lounge. Right here is the atrium. Right past the atrium is the casino then the sports bar, then Limelight Lounge, and all the way to the back is the Horizons Restaurant. As what we're gonna do is we're gonna head all the way back to the front of the ship on deck four and take a look at the Liquid Lounge. This is the theater. And if you remember, we already were in here before on deck five because it spans two decks. So you can get into the theater from deck four or deck five. And here you're gonna enjoy musicals, magic shows. There will also be other events taking place here throughout the cruise. But hey, also remember to come in and check out one of the game shows. They are a blast. They have game shows for kids and adults. And keep in mind that if you book a shore excursion, you will most likely meet up here in the morning. If you're gonna come watch a show, it's a good idea to arrive early. Is what I like to do is I like to head over here to the bar, grab a seat, order a drink, and then go find my seat. Let's head on in to the casino. The casino has plenty of slot machines, card games, tournaments, 
One thing that you're not gonna find in this casino is a bar. For some reason, they did not put it in on the Carnival Vista. I like to head on over to the roulette table and try the martingale technique. Have you ever tried that before? It's when you bet on one color and you just keep betting on it and you keep doubling up. I won $1,000 on a cruise doing that and then I lost $1,000 on the very next cruise trying to do it again. So be careful when you think you got a system. That's when you really can lose your money. The main escape for sports fans is the Skybox. Check out this bar, I love it. Plenty of nice tables and chairs for you to hang out in and enjoy your favorite sports game. Also in the corner, they have Texas Hold'em. It's digital, it's easy to play, and it's really cool. I've played it before and I like it. It's really, really quick. The dealer just throws them out. You don't have to wait for anybody to shuffle. Many different types of memorabilia and real-time stats going throughout the establishment. Over here is the Limelight Lounge. This doubles as the Punch Liner Comedy Club and the Disco. Is what we enjoyed about the Punch Liner Comedy Club is that throughout the cruise, they're bringing in different comedians so you're not listening to the same guy the entire cruise. Over here is the Horizons Restaurant. This is the main dining room. It spans two decks. It is complimentary and it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The way they do it is, is that you're either gonna be on an early or a late dining. Normally the early dining is 5.30, the late dining is 8.30. Is what I like to do is I like to do your time dining. Your time dining is perfect for me because I like to come in whenever I want. Let's head on in to the atrium. The atrium is the heart of the ship. Decks three, four, and five up at the front all converge right here. You can see the staircases. You can sit around the atrium bar and have a drink. It's a nice relaxing spot. Usually there's live music here. Sometimes they'll have violin players come in or they might have a DJ come in. It's a fun place to relax and enjoy a drink. Over here is guest services. If you have any questions, come on over to guest services. They'll help you out with whatever you need. Now, if you book an excursion online and you have any questions, come on over to the shore excursions desk so they can help you out with whatever questions you might have about your excursion. And if you have any questions about internet, you can head on over to the Wi-Fi. This is the Reflections Restaurant. This is also part of the complimentary dining, the main dining. Now, you'll have the dining room that you're supposed to dine in on your key card. How do you choose your dining? When you give us a call, we're gonna help you out with your dining. You're not gonna have to do that on your own. Let's take a look at the thermal suites. The thermal suites are available to those guests who buy either a day or a week pass. There's a nice lasso therapy pool. There are heated chair throughout the entire area you're going to find nice comfortable rooms that you can relax in there is a steam room there is a sauna some of them are scented it's a nice place to come in and enjoy a sea day especially after a good night of drinking the cloud nine spa offers every single type of spa service that you would normally find anywhere else. There are meta spa services, massages, and there is also a full service gym over here. They have machines, free weights, stair masters. There's also treadmill. Now, the cool thing is, is that while you're on board, you can also learn how to do yoga or get into a spin class. Because what a lot of guests like to do when they get on board is they like to come here to the gym and see what they are offering. Thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason Newquist. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.